Hey, snowboard friends. All right, so went out today, uh, continuing experiment on binding with. Three, two, one. And the reason why is because uh, over the weekend I found this guy on Instagram that literally butters and presses and just unbelievable tame dogs and. He, he, the one thing I enjoy the most about this guy's Instagram account, and I'll put the link down below, is that he, um, or his uh, thing, is that he shows his falls, right? And everyone believes that a snowboarder, some snowboarders are just great. And the truth is, is that we all fall and fail over and over and over, and some people are afraid to show them. I show all my fails and my falls uh, that I can, um, that I catch on, because the truth is someday I hope to be a lot better and someone can look back and say okay he sucked in the beginning or he wasn't that good this is how he got there and through work and testing and uh, prevailing I hope to get better and help other people get better because I'm not finding some of the stuff I'm looking for on YouTube that being said today I went and m moved my bindings from 22 inch stance further out to a 24 or 25 um, You'll see the video shortly here. Uh, so I can wrap this up quick for you so you can watch that. Uh, All right, so we are going, to, we went to a 20, is that like 24? Yeah, that's like 24. So that's a wider stance, we are like a 22. Here's the messed up thing. I did change this binding to almost 27 degrees. That's 13. This is 14, so the first run is going to tell us. Um, if not, we're going to come back and we will go and uh, got to make sure these are tight. You don't want to have a binding come loose while you're riding. We're going to come back and adjust them, maybe set them back further. I'm not riding powder, so riding in the center of the board might be better. But it was interesting as I was playing with this is that it's actually really poppy. Like, it was right over the grip tech zone, so, I don't know, let's try this baby out and see what happens. first run in um, I don't like I did like the width um, but we're gonna make a minor adjustment because there's too much weight on the nose I don't know it just felt weird being and I know that I'm 13 and 14 meaning there was more room in the nose than on the back so let's move it back one and uh, see how it plays Oh yeah, those bo 
boxes slow like I barely got to the end of it I need more speed okay one down there you go screws back in my poor bolt holes I'm doing this so much should we measure how far we are now yeah so what's really weird you guys is that my front binding is literally at like 27 <laughs> yeah you can see right there yeah it's at 27 uh the weird thing is is that as i push my legs out further i feel more stable kind of like a triangle but uh i had a i had to do more so this one's still at 12 back here but yeah i had to get my front foot i had to bend my left front foot more out so i had more control if you want to see uh, i want to measure what's the distance for you guys I'm going to need new bindings next year because I've snapped and unsnapped these things so many times. But if you don't wear out your snowboard equipment, you know, you're not trying to get better. Okay, so there's the center of that. Yeah, you know, like 23 and a half now. I mean, it can move in that little of increments. Alright, so let's go ride this bitch see what happens.